eBay listings that you should stay far, far away from. Uh, these are, or they could be tempting, I guess, some of these, but, you know, yikes is all I can say for some of these. So let's just jump into it, as they say in the industry. Okay, we got this Sky Dweller here. Um, you know, the new Sky Dweller with the Romans, with the Roman numerals. Yeah, I mean, what is there to say about this, really? It's just, um, it, you know, it's just at that tempting price where you know a little bit about Rolex, you know that watches are expensive, you've realized that they cost more than $1,000. And so you jump on eBay and you see this thing, and maybe you put a bid in on it. There's zero bids, thank God, but I'll tell you, some of these that I'm looking at have bids. So, yeah, people, it's sad. It's not even, I'm, I'm not blaming the people bidding. It's the people posting this crap. Well, look, the people bidding have some responsibility. I'm not saying that they're totally blameless. I mean, information is power. You know, knowledge is power, but if you don't know, you get taken advantage of. So, obviously, the first red flag, if you know Rolex, is the dial and all that. Rolex doesn't make anything like this on a Sky Dweller. Um, you can see the Sky Dweller printing itself is crooked. The inner wheel for the 24 hour time is, you know, not clean, it's off, it's off-center. The red triangle under the Rolex text is also off-center, it looks like. You know, if you look at the coronet. And that re that inner re is, uh, you know, the chapter ring. It's conical, you know. So anyway, this is obviously just uh, fake crap. And I hope no one buys it. I really hope no one buys it. On to the next one. Okay, so we have this uh, new 2021 black watch. You know, oh, it's the Deep Sea. It's the James Cameron. But you look a little closer and you think, that bezel is weird. The, the 50 looks like it was drawn with a pencil by hand. You know, and then you've got those lugs that are weirdly shaped you know nothing about this watch is is clean and sharp and then you've got it well oh you don't even have the watch you have other fake watches uh, and then you have a pre-ceramic with the old bracelet and clasp so yeah obviously stay far away from this 750 bucks no one's fallen for it I hope uh, this guy has four successful transactions on eBay which is always a red flag and he's selling out of Latvia oh no this guy's Sri Lanka the previous guy was Latvia uh, yeah does he say anything about it all he says about it is Rolex yeah, so stay away from that. On to the next one. Okay, so this one is a little more ambiguous, and I, and I wanted to include it because, you know, if you've gotten some knowledge about Rolex and you take the reference number that they give and you look at the pictures and you're comparing it, you may realize, oh, this is a genuine watch. This is a Rolex. Um... The clasp looks good, the uh, just the sharpness of it, the bezel, the lugs, the bracelet, everything looks good. But the reason why you want to stay away from this stuff, and it's sold by Becker Time, which is a pretty big name in the pre-owned watch game, you want to stay away from crap like this because the dial is aftermarket. Okay, this is not an original dial. There was never a date just with a turquoise dial like this. Companies like this are taking advantage of the hype around the Oyster Perpetuals and those crazy colors. 
so you're seeing some of these weird date just turquoise you know bright orange look at this one red you know you're seeing these pop up and they're tempting to people because they see what the latest and greatest is with real Rolex and they want to get a little piece of it themselves but they obviously don't want to pay you know 12 grand for an oyster perpetual so they hop on eBay and they find a, you know a date just for for 5 grand so it's a 1601 they were not making turquoise dial 1601s and you know let's see if they say anything about it they make sure to include the MSRP right you know front and center for you so you can see that you're saving 4 grand um Let's see, dial. Rolex dial has been professionally refurbished in a turquoise blue enamel. It is difficult to fully capture on picture the true beauty of this dial. Jesus. Look, this is not what you want. It has no resale value at all. You're never going to get your money back for this. You'll be offered 1500 bucks for this if you try to sell it. So stay far far away from this super excellent condition I mean these are things that you know again I, I can't even really blame the consumer because it's so deceptive this language is so deceptive extreme or a super excellent condition professionally refinished you know it's difficult to capture the on picture the beauty of this dial fuck off anyway that's this watch I've heard about Becker Time, uh, and I haven't good, heard good things. So, yeah, on to the next one. All right, so this is one of those where, again, the price is in the ballpark range for this watch. You know, it's not egregiously cheap, but it's not market price. It appears to be a deal. But then when you look closer at it, you can't really look too much closer at it because these pictures suck, but it doesn't have that pop that other Rolexes do. Now, furthermore, to my eye, this looks like a ceramic bezel, but the ceramic subs don't have purpling dials that's something that happened with the pre-ceramics you know the one six six one threes those bluesies are that that purpling happens but not on a ceramic sub I mean even if I can't tell the bezel material from here the indices and the hands are thick like the ceramic subs so at best this is a I don't let's see the bracelet okay so it's a you know modern bracelet so at best it's a modern ceramic sub with a purple dial it has to be aftermarket because the indices are fat and the hands are fat so this is just a mess this is just a freaking mess again this video is eBay listings to stay far far away from you can find so many better examples. I mean, this is not a real example. Look, this guy has one, one previous um, transaction. It's sold out of oh, Texas, but that doesn't, you know, that's not a be-all, end-all. What do they say? Men's Rolex Submariner watch. The reason I scroll down here to look at what the seller says is if you really want to sell your genuine Rolex on eBay, good, sane, sober, moral people like to give a lot of detail. In fact, we, we almost want to know about the buyer. We want to sell it to someone who's like us. We want the watch to go to a good home. So we put out a lot of information about the watch. We don't just put men's Rolex Submariner watch. That's shady. That's something... A shady person would write you know a good moral person would write a lot 
my eBay listings have a whole big long life story about how I came to own the watch and why I'm selling it and yada yada yada. I mean, the buyers are, are skimming past my description at that point. It's too long. So when you have one sentence like that, stay far away. Coupled with the with the the no history, the no transaction history, stay far away. Thank God nobody's bid on this watch. Alright, on to the next one. Again, this is one of those colored dials. And is it from that's from La Jolla Jewelry. So like Becker Time, La Jolla Jewelry is putting this bright orange dial on a sixteen oh oh no, it's a it's an oyster perpetual date. It's not a date just. Um regardless, they weren't they didn't have these dials. These dials did not exist on Oyster Perpetual Dates. Um, let's see what they say. 1500, that's right. All right, dial. Custom refinished orange dial set with luminous hour markers. Custom means aftermarket, a.k.a. not genuine, a.k.a. fake. You know, fake is a a bad word on YouTube apparently these days but that's what it is that's what's being sold here I mean I don't know why that's a bad word on YouTube that's if it's if it's a good enough word for eBay to sell things or you know sellers on eBay to to sell then it should be good enough for us to say on YouTube but custom is not genuine uh, genuine Rolex smooth bezel sure I mean you know uh, genuine acrylic here we go, genuine brown replacement leather band. So what they mean is brown genuine leather replacement band. The band is not genuine Rolex, it's genuine leather and it's brown. So box includes a beautiful generic in-house box and includes in-house receipt and certificate of authenticity. So you're practically getting a naked, altered with, God knows what they did on the inside, just the bottom of the barrel Rolex watch of 1500 date for how much? Five grand. That's very expensive. And it doesn't have a bracelet. There's no bracelet, no box, no papers, no dial. It's got an aftermarket not genuine dial and they want five grand for it Jeez! and then so I opened up chrono 24 and you've got all these amazing options beautiful I'm sure you could find a, an unpolished one with the bracelet probably with papers some of them for around the same price 4800 4600 if you want no bracelet here you go here's one for four grand you can save some money Here's one from 1976 for 3500. So this is what we're talking about. 5 grand is on the top top end of of this model. I mean, for 5 grand you better get box papers, unpolished, you know, everything, full set, hang tag, all that. But instead you're getting practically nothing and a shitty aftermarket dial. Yeah, it's just uh unfortunate and People buy this crap, unfortunately. They just don't know. They don't know. They they like the color orange. They want an orange watch for the summer, maybe. So they buy this crap. Stay far away from that. On to the next one. Oh, this I wanted to include because when I was scrolling through the eBay listings, I saw this picture here. And I'm actually looking for this exact date just. Oyster bracelet, engine turn bezel, blue dial. I'm looking for this exact date just. The previous models, the five digit models, because I don't want the polished center links. I want a fully brushed bracelet, which the the uh, five digit models have. So I saw this and it caught my eye and I opened up a tab to look at it. Unrelated to this video, I wanted to look at it selfishly for myself. And I see this picture. I'm like, okay, nice. This is looks perfect. Everything looks good. And then I got here and I'm like, whoa, wait a second, that, that center link looks kind of polished. What about here? Kind of polished looking. And bam, 
polished center links on a five digit date just yeah so I included it in the video because again you want to stay far away from this you have to go if a watch catches your eye take the model take the reference number go look at it go scour the internet looking at other examples of it and compare and hopefully you'll see that the center links should not be polished they should they should be brushed like the rest of the watch or like the rest of the bracelet look at that I guess they're trying to imitate the modern Datejust bracelet but no it's not genuine and I don't know who polished this maybe it was they probably did a bad job I don't know for sure but I'm, I don't trust it I want unpolished or at the very best Rolex polished or if you're gonna try to hide it from me at least do the right polishing pattern you know brushed where it's supposed to be brushed and polished where it's supposed to be polished but uh, yeah stay away from this because although the watch itself may be genuine if they mess up something so fundamental as the bracelet finishing then who knows what else is wrong on the inside of the watch so stay away and <laughs> Last but not least is this nine-year-old's art project. I mean, does it get worse than this? Is, is there anything in the world worse than this? I don't think so. This is just, yeah, it's disgusting. But let's, f for fun, let's break it down. So obviously you have the bezel that's made of pure gold as opposed to you know gold around the trim it's pure gold and the bracelet is steel so at very very best it's a two-tone watch with a steel bracelet but that's not the case we have some weird custom-made gold toned bezel with those little charms that kids make art projects with and they put them in the bezel and it looks awful it looks absolutely awful the dial is some sort of red textured thing again looks awful the indices these huge gold squares with diamonds in the middle of them awful gaudy just a terrible look and then you've got the date wheel the date window has a gold surround around it and it's off center and it's crooked and whew, it's just so bad it's so so bad I mean with a dial and bezel like this you've got to assume everything else is is fake as well you've got to assume nothing is genuine because if if they're doing this to the watch it can't be genuine anywhere I mean is the bracelet genuine maybe who cares the crown yeah okay you know the case who knows now it's a woman's watch thank God they're not trying to sell this to a man but still maybe you're trying to buy a Rolex for your wife and you don't know and you get suckered into this because it's that's still pretty expensive but 3200 bucks let's say you you know that your wife really likes rubies and and diamonds you know and you think oh she would really like this ruby and diamond rolex it's like a three punch combo rubies diamonds rolex and you say yeah 3200 bucks yeah rolex ad is charging me uh five grand look at this honey and you bring home this monstrosity so yeah I thought I'd just include that one it's such an obvious one anyway there's some listings that you need to stay far far away from some of them are more obvious than others but this is the type of stuff that goes on on eBay you know aftermarket dials bad pictures wording this de deceptive wording deceptive language these things are traps to try to get unsuspecting 
unknowledgeable buyers to spend their hard-earned cash on this crap. Hopefully this serves as some sort of example for you guys out there shopping. All right, peace out.